another edition of Lakey Shenanigans. I'm your host, Tori Blair. And I'm Peter Brown. We have four excellent stories to share with you today, including one about jazz concert, the most ultimate sport, frisbee, lacrosse, and one about the new closed campus policy. Prior Lake High School's varsity jazz band recently competed in Farmington. Let's give them a listen. Prior Lake High School's varsity jazz band is competing at the South Suburban Conference April 17th at Farmington High School. The band is very excited for the chance to compete. It should be a good day. Um, the bands are exceptional and they should be at the peak of their game at this time of year too. I am very excited for the South Suburban Conference because uh, it's something to do. It gets me out of school and it's fun to hear other schools play jazz. In addition to competing, the band is excited for the chance to listen to other bands. Well, the performance is always a big thing, but just the listening and the conversations that we get to have on the way back, like, oh my gosh, did you hear that band? And oh, wow, that was a really neat thing. My favorite thing is definitely listening to the other bands and especially the pros because they're like, you know, really good. As you can see, the jazz band is very excited for the chance to compete. We wish them luck in their future competitions. Let's give them a hand, a jazz hand. Our next story features an uncommon, but nevertheless fun, sport, Ultimate Frisbee. Let's see what they're up to. This year, Prior Lake High School's Ultimate Frisbee Club fires back up with even more enthusiasm than last year. I really enjoy just being on that team with a lot of my friends, getting to go outside and just play on the field with my friends you know, in a really awesome sport. Players are able to take their experience off the field and use it to better themselves in their everyday lives. I've learned how to be more of a team player and how to really work hard on myself so that I can improve not only for my individual game, but also for the team, because I've never really had a team rely on me um, until I joined Ultimate. So that's where this is where I really have learned how to work well with the team and motivate myself to work harder. Congratulations to the seniors of the Prior Lake Ultimate Frisbee team. We wish you the best in the future and wish you luck in your future games this season. Five, one. Hopefully the snow melts soon so that the team can start to compete outside. If you're into sports, you're in luck because our next story is about lacrosse. Let's see how they're doing. With the boys lacrosse season right around the corner, let's see what the boys been up to. The boys lax team really seems to be enjoying captain's practice. There. Um, no, I'm looking forward to this year. It's been, each captain's practice getting better and better and it's nice to get back out on the field. Captain's has been going good. A lot of kids are showing up, a lot of younger kids, which is always good. Everyone's working hard, making each other better. The captain's practices are pretty good. A lot of people come to them. Uh, Preseason is going pretty well, so I'm looking forward to the season. The boys' lax team really seems to be enjoying captain's practice. The lacrosse players are planning on a successful season. Uh, the season, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty solid one for us. We got a lot of returning starters couple of D1 kids, some new talent coming to this year, so it should be really exciting. We'll have some explosive plays and some solid defense. You know, with a lot of new kids in our program, we're probably going to make it pretty far. Hopefully there's some good competition, so we'll see. I think we're going to be doing good. Our schedule isn't the hardest, which is, I'm kind of nervous about. Everyone thinking we're super good and everyone thinking that they're the best. And then once we play like a good team like Sections or State, then we don't show up. Looks like the Lakers are working hard to have a successful season. Wow, lacrosse looks like a lot of fun. Good luck to the boys during their season. Be sure to go watch a game or two. The security here at Prior Lake High School has increased recently. Let's see what some of the students had to say about some of the new campus rules. At the start of quarter four, Prior Lake High School has been enforcing a closed campus policy. Let's see what this means for students. Uh, I haven't really had any troubles with the policies. Um, uh, I kind of just been following the rules of that and just going fine. I think they're ridiculous. If you have an open, I think you should be able to leave the school when you want. You have an open hour to leave school, so why make us stay? We also asked staff around Prior Lake High School to clarify the intentions of the closed campus policy. Uh, when students leave, during the day, we're, you're supposed to show, you're, you're supposed to have permission. So, and how do we discern who has permission and who doesn't? I believe everybody's supposed to have a, a sticker or a pass. So we just feel like, you know, 
we're responsible for you during the day. Your parents send you here, so we're feeling like we should know who's supposed to be going out and who's not. It, a lot of times it looks like organized chaos. And if we can get that down into an orderly fashion, I'm all for that. Those new rules are a great way to close up today's episode. Thanks for watching this week's Lakers Shenanigans. Make sure to tune in next week for some new interesting Lakers stories. I'm Tori Blair. And I'm Peter Brown. We'll catch you next time on Lakers Shenanigans. But until then, have a great Laker day. <laughs>